Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rajita Vanga. Today I am here to discuss about the perineal body. Perineal body is otherwise called as gynecological perineum because it, it is an important structure present in the perineal region which supports the pelvic organs. So perineal body is an irregular fibromuscular uh, mass situated in the midline at the junction of urogenital triangle and anal triangle. So here is the perineum of male uh, where we can see urogenital diagram diaphragm anteriorly which is urogenital triangle. This is the urogenital triangle which is present on the anterior side and posteriorly we have got the anal triangle. So the perineal body it is the muscle mass which is located at the junction of urogenital triangle and anal triangle. So between the uh, just lower ends of vagina and anal canal in females and in males it is related to uh, anal margin very close to the bulb of penis. So it lies about half an inch in front of the anal margin. So this is the anal opening. So in front of the anal orifice anal margin and almost uh, half, an, half an inch in front of it close to the bulb of penis in males. So this is So uh, close to the bulb of penis it is located and here is the female perineum. In females it is between the lower ends of vagina and anal canal. So here is the vaginal opening and here is the anal opening. So perineal body is located here. So the perineal body plays an important role in support of vagina and in normal anal function. And there are 10 muscles of perineum converge and interlace in the perineal body. So the 10 muscles are two superficial transverse perineal muscles. So one side of the image is superficial. The other half of the image is deep. So we can see this white perineal membrane here separating superficial from deep perineal pouch. So in the superficial perineal pouch we have got superficial transverse perineal. I am writing short form superficial transverse perineal muscles which are present on the either side of the perineal body whereas in the deeper side we have got deep transverse perineal muscles. So two superficial transverse perineal muscles, two deep uh, transverse perineal muscles and there are two bulbospongiosis muscles. So you can see this one. Which are uh, laterally present even in males it is uh, present around the bulb of the penis. So bulbospongiosis and two levator ani muscles. And one sphincter ani externus and one longitudinal muscle coat of anal canal. So altogether 10 muscles, 2 tra uh, deep transverse uh, perineal, 2 superficial transverse perineal, 4 muscles and 2 bulbospongiosis, 6 muscles and 2 levator ani muscles that is 8 and 1 sphincter externus and 1 longitudinal muscle coat of anal canal. So altogether 10 muscles interlace with each other to form perineal body. Arterial supply of perineal body, the internal pudendal artery, a branch of internal iliac artery forms the primary blood supply to the perineal body. The nerve supply to the perineal body is by the pudendal nerve having the root value as S2, S3, S4. So this is S2, S3, S4.
So the uh, the nerve with the uh, root value S2, S3, S4 supplies the perineal body that is the pudendal nerve. Clinical anatomy of perineal body, childbirth can lead to damage or uh, to the perineal body because of stretching and tearing. So perineal body is located here in front of the anal opening behind the vaginal opening. So there is a chance of cut of perineal body and uh, which may lead to uh, prolapse of pelvic viscera and this can be avoided by a surgical cut in the perineum which is called as episiotomy. So this inevitably causes the damage of uh, vaginal mucosa but prevents the uncontrolled tearing of perineal body. So this completes the anatomy of perineal body. Thank you.